hello everyone or welcome to the spectamin channel so today i will show you how to make this in video pad editor so i am not using after effects in this and i will only use the video pad editor so first of all make sure to like this video and subscribe for more tutorials and my short movies okay so here we go So first you have to just import any picture with some different colors. Ok now click to add your text. So I will just write out my own channel name. Make sure to select the scale so it fits well in the screen okay and also make sure that here the full background is selected okay now it's time to add the effects so i just selected the green screen and now just click on the text to pick up that white color as transparent and that's it you can see through that text okay now click to add the scale effect and now set the key so now just you have to scale it bigger at the first frame and now move to the last frame and make it smaller so this will create the animation when you play it there you can see it okay so here is the step that will make it smooth that will make its animation smooth so just select those first keys and click this button okay and now you have to drag those handles to make a curve out of that line you just have to create a smooth curve that's it okay now you will see the difference there you can see it starts slow and then it speeds up and then it stops slow cool right okay now it's time to select the image in the first layer and apply the blur effect and now to give some animation to its color we will just apply an HUV effect and also maybe invert it in the negative ok so now back to the second layer Okay, so here you just have to copy and paste it on top of all the layers and now we will make it glowing. So select the second layer and apply a blur effect. You can just turn off that layer to see the effects. Okay, select Turn it back on and select the top layer and now make it transparent. And that glow appears. You can see that. Okay, yeah, that's creative. Yeah. Okay, now let's make it more cinematic. Okay, so just open your browser and search for the flare PNG and select any lens effect that you like okay i think this one is better make sure that the images with those square pattern are the pngs not others so now just drag and drop it in the scene there it is you can see it looks really cool okay now we will apply the 
scale effect to it too so that it matches the text oh yeah so its scale will be zero at start and then it will scale up and then go down zero again there it is at zero and now it scales up and now it scales down again okay that's it now we will add the position effect to move it and animate okay so at that time it is here right now just move a little forward and now and also move that flare forward that's it okay so it looked a little faster so now we'll make it slow so just drag those keys back in time And that's it it will now look a little slower and you can also change the clip speeds so it will just look slower there you can see select all the layers and change it to 50% and now it is slow just watch it okay now it's time to make it a little more epic so just copy and paste that flare effect that flare layer there it is and now delete that scale effect and add it again and this time make it bigger and no animation with the scale okay and now remove that position also and add it again and place it below that scale layer okay now you have to animate the position so that it move along the screen all the time simple and let's watch it now that's cool right now just apply a blur effect and maybe a little transparency and that's it it looks cool and we have made a cool title and video pad so try it on your own and just save and export it with some high settings and that's it so leave a like to this video and make sure to subscribe to the spectamin channel and thanks for watching